What's up team? Today we're going to be reacting to the Adobe Keynote for the latest updates to the Adobe Creative Cloud software. Now, previously in my last two videos, I was doing reactions to individual videos of the new changes to Illustrator, InDesign, and then the most recent one being Photoshop. But instead of going through them all individually, I'm thinking of now to just watch this entire keynote and pick out the best and most relevant things that I think are very interesting about it. And hopefully there are interesting things about this keynote because it goes for two hours and 29 minutes. So yeah, hopefully I don't waste time. But at the same time, I'm helping you guys skim through this uh, long footage. So without further ado, let's start watching the keynote. Um, I'm particularly interested in Premiere and After Effects, so hopefully they have some cool new stuff for those programs. All right, so it looks like it's starting, but let, let's just let it buffer for a bit. Um, before we get into this, why don't you hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification so you get notified when I upload new videos. <laughs> Probably gonna have to mute out the audio for that though, uh, but it's a good song. Some really cool animated stuff going on on those screens right now. I'm liking it. One thing real quick here that I just want to say is I went to the Adobe Symposium event in Sydney and just sort of comparing it visually right now and also the sort of content that I'm expecting from, from Max compared to the Symposium, it just already feels like this is geared more towards creatives compared to Symposium. And Symposium was very, very sales driven. It was more business oriented rather than focusing on the creatives, which I did not like at all. Uh, maybe that's just because I'm a creative, but you know, it was an event that was generally for both people, but even the, even like the seminars that they had for creatives weren't all that great. I don't know. That's just me speaking. Um, Perhaps there were other people that that got more out of them, but I, uh, I did not get much out of them. Um, and that's not to say that um, it's not relevant to me or it's too complicated for me. Um, it just really like it's it's either something it was either stuff that was self-explanatory stuff that I already knew or yeah, just just nothing new. It's nothing new. So anyways, uh, this, this is starting to look hopeful. I'm liking the, the, the graphics and things that are going on here. So let's continue. Please welcome to the stage, Shantanu Narayan. Good morning. Welcome to Max 2019. With over 15,000 of you here in LA and thousands more watching online, we're part of the biggest Max ever. Thank you, thank you for joining us and thank you for making Max a movement. Max is the opportunity for us to connect as a community, to celebrate innovation, to be inspired by each other's ideas and to take creativity to the next level. It's about creating the future and it's also about celebrating where we've been. We recently celebrated the 20th anniversary of InDesign. If I was in that crowd, I'd be that one guy that just, when it's all quiet, I'd be like, yeah, InDesign. Of innovation that's coming from Adobe. Our mission is simple and powerful. We want to change the world through digital experiences. And it is this purpose that... There we go again with the word experiences. I don't know if I want to actually watch this anymore because just from like previous Adobe events, 
They love to throw the word experience out there. That has guided everything that we do for over three decades. With Creative Cloud, we're unleashing creativity, giving anyone anywhere the tools to express themselves. With Adobe Document Cloud, we're accelerating document productivity. There should be a little bit of a correction on that statement because they just they just basically said that they're giving anyone everywhere the tools to be creative and productive, but it's not a free software. You have, you have to pay for it. I mean, it's accessible by everyone if they have the money. Um, there are okay, but there there are some free Adobe apps, but it, but still, for the main bulk of it, you have to pay for it. Enabling people. So unless you have a business that's covering the cost of Adobe Creative Cloud for you, then, well, you're not going to get the same creativity. Well, you're not going to get the same software as other people are. ...in organizations to collaborate and transact business with PDFs. And with Adobe Experience Cloud, we're powering digital businesses of all sizes, helping them design and deliver engaging customer experiences. All of Adobe's 22,000 employees have a singular focus on empowering everyone to create experiences that inspire, transform industries, and move the world forward. I truly believe that we're in the golden age of creativity. Storytelling has never been more rich thanks to the innate desire to communicate and the power that we have today with digital technology. I want to add on to his little statement there. He's basically talking about storytelling being more rich, but it's very hard to get an original idea these days. And usually you borrow from past ideas. So I wouldn't say that storytelling is more rich because it's not, you can't, it's very hard to get an original story nowadays. So it's not, it's not rich. You're just taking from the success of other people, really. It's the foundation of arts, of culture. It's critical to education and entertainment. And it powers societal change as well as drives economic progress and breakthroughs. Because it doesn't matter if you're a designer, an engineer, a student, or a business owner. Creativity today is a fundamental skill. And at the core, creativity is actually all about making emotional connections. So instead of going through that entire video with heaps of um, rebuffering and lag, we're going to just quickly talk about what are the new changes to Premiere Pro and After Effects, but starting with Premiere Pro. So, for, so without actually me knowing what is the like, what is the new stuff? I'm just going to go through this uh, this page here and sort of just see what what they've got and um, give my opinions and maybe have some interesting reactions to them. So right off the bat, we have auto reframe. This is probably the only thing that I actually heard about uh, with the update to Premiere. And I think it's actually one of the the greatest things that they've, they've come up with for Premiere because like, <laughs> Because rescaling some of your videos to different aspect ratios was a pain in Premiere Pro. But now with this auto reframe, it looks like it just, it does it automatically for you and things are responsive. So let's see what it says. You can now easily, easily, see, even the word easily is being used. You can now easily optimize your content for different social media and mobile viewing platforms instead of manually cropping and keyframing footage. Auto reframe automates the process using Adobe Sensei AI technology. It's about time, but you know what? Better late than never. Graphics and text enhancements. Ability to rename shape and clip layers. You know, it was actually, yeah, it was, it was actually pretty hard to use all these um, shapes and text layers in, in Premiere. Um, I don't know why that is, but um, hopefully this has made it easier. You can now underline text with an underline style button. Not sure why you couldn't have done, why that, why is this just being introduced now? Like you've had the text editing stuff in Premiere for ages and it's only been added in now. Multi-line text fields and motion graphic templates. Cool. New drop down menu option, motion graphic templates. New keyboard shortcuts for working with the essentials graphics panel. Audio enhancements, mixed, uh, mixed multi-channel audio more efficiently in Premiere Pro. Cool. Time remapping to 20,000%. You're an improved file format. Okay, so one thing to notice, uh, to note here is the Apple ProRes HDR support. Um, 
and H265, I believe. Uh, these are just some different, uh, I think, yeah, some different formats that um, I believe improve uh, the, well, I don't know too much about them, but like I think they make your well, the video quality a lot better and also uh, cuts down render time, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but other, but apart from that, um, they're just these cool new formats to be exporting uh, your footage with uh, your footage as. Uh, export HDR content with HDR10 metadata. So export HDR content with HDR10 metadata to ensure your content looks its best on HDR enabled displays. Yep. Yeah. Drive other enhancements. Middle GPU render option in the project. Uh huh. Right. Okay. Well, that's it for Premiere Pro, really. I think the the main one is the auto reframe, which is really good. So good stuff. Now let's check out the changes to After Effects. All right, and now for After Effects. Let's see what we've got. Best practices for updating. Preview and preview playback performance improvements, enhanced XR, EXR workflows, faster shapes. That might be, that might be relevant. This release of After Effects offers improved responsiveness when working with shapes to speed up creative iteration. Yeah, that's good. I did a like an animated geometry thing the other day for work. Uh, well, not the other day, but a, like a couple months ago. And um, faster shapes would have been good to have during that time. So yeah, this seems like a good a good change. So with improved access to grid and controls, it is easier to navigate, manage a large number of shapes. Good. We needed that. There is an overall performance improvement. You can now right click a group to ungroup shape layers, select multiple shapes in the timeline, right click. And, oh, so you can group shapes now. That's perfect. That is so good. Graphic, graphics and text enhancements. Text properties with expressions, alternate text rex. All right, well, there's nothing too exciting about the After Effects changes, but Premiere had a really good one, the, um, the auto resizing one. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope it helps you to understand a little. I, I didn't really go into too much detail on these ones, but these are really good. These are good changes, and I hope Adobe continues to be improving these products. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you want to see more reactions and other creative videos like this, please subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you in the next video. Click here if you want to see my reaction to the latest Photoshop updates and click down here for another video.